What's going on, you guys? Can't be on the camera here. Bridget was here. Right there. And today is Monday. Today is Monday, although you guys, technically it is Sunday, which makes today six months since my father has passed away. And it is an incredibly hard day for me. It is hard to believe it's been that long. It really is hard to believe. Uh, that flew by. It, it feels like last month. Six months ago, I lost my best friend. I lost my partner. I got Bridget, so obviously. I didn't lose you, but I <laughs> lost Dad. You know? And it just, it's so He was hard. a third of the puzzle. There's three of us, and now there's two of us, and it hurts to think that that piece of the puzzle is gone forever. But yeah, Dad, it, it sucks doing this, you know, just the two of us. Dad, I love you. You know, I know, you guys, I know I've been crying a lot on video, and maybe I've been embarrassing myself, but Paul Heyman told me something in New Orleans that is going to stick with me forever. I told him that I couldn't stop crying. I told him that I was profoundly sad, and he told me that he's still sad about the loss of his father, and he told me, of course we cry for those that we love because what would that say about them if we didn't? What would that mean for my relationship with my father if I wasn't sad, if I didn't cry? And he's right. What would that mean? You know? Oh yeah, absolutely. What does that say about how much I actually loved him if here I am five, six months later and I'm still just fine? I'm like, okay, dad's gone. Of course I'm sad. Of course I cry because he meant the world to me. So dad, I love you. Today's gonna be really hard because we gotta watch that 55 Chevy. Yeah. I'm not ready for that. I'm not either. What time does your dad get here? He should be here soon. If you didn't see the video that I uploaded yesterday on the Angry Grandpa Show channel, I did a six month update video that has a music video, and then hopefully if Doug gets here in time, we're gonna wash the car, so. Yeah, I was thinking after we wash the car, maybe we can wash you too. Wash what? You. Me as a person? Yeah, you stink. You what? smell real bad, actually. What? I do I? Yeah. You smell like like garbage and. Okay. Crap. You wanna know what smells like garbage? Let me show everybody what smells like garbage. Like I'm starting to wonder if you crap yourself. No. Well, let's show what smells like garbage. Let's show our garbage can sitting in the sun right now. <laughs> Because for some reason our garbage people have gone on strike. This is our yard. They've gone on strike, yeah. Our gar that's what stinks. You're that's not two weeks. You're not smelling me. That's two reeks. No, honey, I'm smelling you, honey. No, you're smelling the garbage can. You smell like you crapped yourself. I'm gonna ask you to do this one time. One time only. Lower down and smell my butt. No. Lower down right now. Here we go. Really? Yeah, I don't even, I know if I crap myself or not. Oh! What? You did that on purpose! You know what you did! You know what you did in those pants! <laughs> She's a fucking liar, man. You fucking liar. I'm not! I will put my hand in my ass and rub it's it on It's time to take a shower! Today is Monday. Dad, I love you. I hope you miss this charming back and forth against the person I hate the most, Bridget. <laughs> Just kidding, I love her. No, you don't. Today is Monday. We're washing the car, and then I'm just gonna chill out because I am sad. Today sucks. We didn't even upload a vlog yesterday. You know, a shower would make you feel better. Okay. I'm tired of it. You need a shower too. I don't actually. I took one yesterday. Oh, really? It smells like weeks ago. Lies! That's you. I'm gonna try to stay funny and entertaining in this vlog as much as I can. But admittedly, it's going to be really hard to do that with everything that's going on. With it being six months since I lost dad and washing his car and... It's going to be real hard. Like, this really sucks. I never wanted this for dad, you know? I. And I know everybody's going to have to die eventually, you know what I mean? But it doesn't make it any less hard. I just got all this stuff, and I don't know. Maybe I need counseling. <laughs> I've never really been the type of person to believe in counseling. I don't know if it works necessarily. Sometimes I think it's BS, but maybe, 
maybe I could try something out. Maybe, maybe I'm sadder than I should be, but at the same time, of course I'm gonna be sad, you know? It's just, it's been hitting me a lot harder these past couple of days. You know, Dad, I don't know if you can hear me or, you know, if you're up there, if there even isn't up there, I don't know. But I'd appreciate a sign. So stupid. So stupid asking for a sign. Part of me wants to believe and the other part of me knows that it's all bull. I know, it's stupid. Ah. Ah. All right, I'm good now. Okay, I looked horrible right there. Doug is on his way over right now and we are gonna wash grandpa's car for the first time since we brought it over here. <sighs> since he was sick, really. We're gonna wash the car today, you guys. Hopefully. Like if he doesn't show up, I don't know what we're gonna do with that part of the video because I really wanted to wash his car for it. So if you didn't see it in yesterday's video, well then Doug never showed up. If he did, it's gonna fade into that right now. This is the first time we moved it in six months, Bridget. I know. Hopefully it cranks. I hope so too. Damn it. So apparently we let the car sit for too long without cranking it or moving it or doing anything with it. So now we gotta try to charge the battery and hopefully we can do that. This is, don't let your car sit you guys. Don't let depression take over you because this is exactly what'll happen. I should have been moving it like once a month or you know twice a week or I don't know. I should have just been moving it a lot more than I have been. Uh, Lesson learned. We're going to do it after this. We're going to try to fix it and we're going to try to drive it as often as we can because I don't want this to happen. Now we got to charge it up. Look at this though, you guys. This is uh, right here. It's what I've done by letting it sit. Let me take care of it though. these were in here? No. Wow. Ain't no telling what's all in there, man. Definitely missing. Oh yeah. He was uh, very unique, unlike anybody.
crazy, ain't it, Bridget? Yes, it is. God, he loved this thing. Oh, I know, man. And everything I ever did for him, I think this was the biggest surprise. Yeah. He loved it. I mean, he loved it so much. I got really sad when uh, it was getting backed out. Yeah, me too. This is almost like a montage in my head. It was real sad to think about. Yeah. I remember when he got it, uh, he asked me for the guy's number he bought it from. <laughs> and he went and got, when he went and talked to the guy so we can get like care instructions. Yeah. He was like, what do, what, what do I gotta do? And he sat there and talked to the guy for like four hours. And the guy told him the kind of stuff he needed to wash it with, just everything he needed to keep this pristine. Yeah. And I flushed it all down the toilet. No, you did. Well, we won't let this happen again. No. The pollen's gone, so that's great. We ready to start scrubbing, Doug? No, you missed a few spots. <laughs> like where? Oh. Like right there. We'll probably go the other way around. <laughs> Oh, man. Who rode on the car, dude? I don't know. Wow, look at that. Wow. Sorry, Dad. I didn't mean to get your car so messed up, man. Good, Doug. Thank you. I'll be proud, Dad. If somehow you're watching Pop, I hope you're uh, happy, hope you're proud. I'm doing everything I can to, to make you happy. Don't feel like six months. That's going to be it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm just going to wind down. It's just... It's just been a hard day, you know? wash the car, put up that six month video. So I'm just gonna go hang out with the family. We're gonna go have dinner. We're gonna remember grandpa privately for six months. Guys, I wanna thank you for everything. You know, dad, I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know if you're out there. I don't know if there's anything. I don't know if I'm wasting my time trying to talk to you. But I'd love a sign. I'd love a sign. Are those deers, Bridget? Oh my god. Oh baby, you better know that one. Wow. <gasps> wow. Oh my god. Is that another sign? Three hours ago I asked Dad, dude. So there's two signs right now, Bridget. There's a sign from the deer, and there's a sign that we need to eat less food. Look at that. <laughs> that is a travesty, all that garbage. <laughs> Look, it's not our fault.
Wow, that was so cool. Why is it that every time I ask Dad to give me a sign, I see those deer? I know. 